by means of introduction, Jason Apter, the Sector Chief Executive for Health within JM. Johnson Matthey helps groundbreaking drugs make it to market quickly um, in, a, in a couple of different ways. Um, first of all, when you look at our business, we have business both with um, new, new pharmaceutical products, our innovator businesses, um, as well as generic pharmaceutical products. So we help um, bring drugs to market quickly on the innovator side by really partnering with various pharma and biotech companies and helping them develop their molecules um, and then subsequently commercializing those and, and supporting them through clinical trials. On the generic side, we actually uh, help bring new generic versions of existing molecules to market by really working with partners um, and, and leveraging our scientific ability to navigate the patent landscape and bring more affordable solutions of existing molecules to market quickly. I think sustainability is a big issue in general. Um, obviously within pharma, um, there's various different things, the size of the pharma footprint globally, but, but generally um, I, I think sustainability is a bigger issue than just pharma. Um, certainly how we're helping um, you know, the, the situation within the industry, um, there's a lot of work going into new chemistries, um, new green chemistries from a chemical perspective. Um, you know, I think this, the, the, the focus on, you know, the, the, you know, low carbon, you know, manufacturing, um, and various things. So I think, I think the industry is rallying around a number of different, uh, different aspects of sustainability. Yeah, definitely. Johnson Matthew has a really, um, you know, broad and, 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 and I think great vision with the sustainability. Um, when you think about it, we've, we, we're looking from a Johnson Matthew perspective at the entire value chain of sustainability, not just what happens in the four walls of our production site. And when we talk about sustainability, we're really talking about it from six um, principles. Um, the first is the health and safety. Um, we're targe targeting a zero harm environment for our employees and the people that work within Johnson Matthey. Um, we're also targeting our people. So really, you know, um, generating a, you know, a very uh, en engaging and enabling environment for the folks, um, for all of our employees that work with, with, with Johnson Matthey globally. Um, the third area is low carbon operations and really our target to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 25% um, within our manufacturing footprint. But then the fourth principle is really responsible sourcing and that's also holding the same standards that we hold ourselves to, holding our suppliers and our various partners um, to that same standard. The fifth aspect we look at is, is actually our products and the sustainability of our products. As an example, outside of pharma, um, Johnson Matthey's been you know, a staple within the auto catalyst business, but we have a closed loop economy there where a lot of the raw materials that go into an auto catalyst, we're actually bringing those back in um, from the market, refining them and recycling them back into new products. So um, we try to take a holistic view and really the products that we're bringing to market have a sustainable aspect to them. And then the last piece that we focus on is really our community engagement. It's really our focus on volunteering um, and being, being active and responsible in the, community, the communities that we participate in. The most exciting development in the pharmaceutical industry, that's a tough question, but I think I would say there, there's a number of different things, but one of the ones that resonates with me is, is the, the continued emergence of new, new classes of drugs or what I call novel modalities. Um, you know, and, and I think it's just, it's the, the, where science is now taken and the understanding of disease states and biomarkers at, at, a, at a genetic level and at a molecular level is really just opening up different ways to deliver drugs to patient and different types of drugs that have better efficacy or better specificity. Um, so I just think the, the, the trends when you, when you look at gene therapies, cell therapies, but the trends of the new types of drugs that are really, you know, enabling a healthier world, frankly, um, and, and providing folks that didn't have um, cures or potential to um, subdue certain diseases is now giving them new hope. So I think that's kind of what I see the interesting thing that's happening in the industry. From a Johnson Matthey perspective, you know, our plans for 2020 are to continue to stay the course 
um, for the health sector. Um, you know, I think, you know, and, and I'm talking about specifically the health sector within JM, but it, it's it's essentially to stay the course that we've that we've set. Um, it's continue to focus on, you know, enhancing our core business um, and re and really running our business better and being a better manufacturing partner to our customers and development partner. I think it's focusing on our new product pipeline and really supporting both the generics and the new drugs um, that we're supporting and helping you know, our partners bring those drugs to market. And then lastly, it's really continuing to build out our capabilities. There's tremendous immense amounts of value um, and areas of science that we can continue to expand and invest in to really bring more value to our customers. So um, from a 2020 perspective, we're gonna continue our same journey and continue to drive value in those ways.